Uh, this essay is uh, it's about Bobby Burns. Uh, Bobby Burns is a um, was a great uh, poet uh, in Scotland, and in fact, he wrote the lyrics to uh, "Old Lang Syne." Uh, that was his poem. Um, and last New Year's Eve. My three granddaughters, T.T., Snow, and Fatty, and their parents and I went to dinner on New Year's Eve. And my three granddaughters serenaded the restaurant, our favorite restaurant near Inlay Lake. And it was, it was you know, I was proud of my granddaughters. But this is uh, another um, a part of a poem, another poem that Bobby Burns wrote called Ode to a Louse. And it's actually the last part of the, or first part of the last uh, stanza of that of a fairly long poem. And it was written in Scottish, Scottish Gaelic dialect, or written, written that way. But then you had to translate it into English, 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 but that still doesn't do a good job of translation to what he's really saying. But basically he's saying it would be a gift that God would give us to see ourselves as others see us. Meaning if we could understand how other people view us, we would have a better idea about who we are. And in that poem, to an ode to a louse, raises that issue for all of us. But it also raises the issue for TT. As much as I have told her how great she is, and how smart she is, how caring she is, etc., etc., etc. It hasn't all sunk in. So is, this is my response to TT's email. But in a larger sense, this essay is not just about T.T. and seeing herself as others see us, or her. It is about a universal problem that we all have, about seeing ourselves as others see us. So I appreciate your time watching and listening to this video and reading this essay. Ciao.